morning guys so today i am going to have an indoor day where it's really good outside actually it's really sunny like you can kind of tell through the blinds but yeah today i'm having an indoor day where i do the washing and stuff like that i'm gonna carry on doing the baby shower things i need to do a few because there's literally like a week and a bit like a week and a half until the baby shower and so i need to do the uh quizzes and stuff like that and like advice slips and print some bits off still as well as that i'm going to do the um i'm going to do baby's colored wash because i did the white wash yesterday and i'm going to do the colored one today because it's a good day so they'll dry i'm currently just drinking my tea and on the computer as per usual it is half nine and I'm already tired of just waking up. <laughs> I woke up about an hour ago and had breakfast and stuff. Um, while well, Mark got ready and went to work. I don't know if I'm doing anything today. Like, as if I don't know if anyone's coming around or if I'm going out or... I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'll let you know what happens next. So I just noticed this. And that's wrong now. So we can get rid of that and get the chalk. Put the number six because we've got six weeks today until his due date on the 25th of October. There we go. Six week until baby's due. So I literally haven't vlogged all day and it's because I went to my antenatal classes at three It's and finished them at five. It's now almost seven o'clock um, and basically all day I just did the washing, uh, cleaned up, household chores basically and I didn't want to film it because I filmed it all before and you know what I do basically on those kind of days. I'm currently waiting on Mark to come home um, from doing something, I can't remember what he was actually doing but I'm waiting for him to come home so that we can get a curry because he is obsessed with curries I don't know what it is but he is obsessed like literally obsessed I think it's because when guys get um when girls get pregnant their other half or partner or whatever you want to call them they do get cravings as well and I feel like curry is Mark's craving currently but that's not bad for me because I'm just gonna have the spiciest curry tonight <laughs> to see if it helps bring him out probably not but we can try but yeah, that's what I'm doing, so we'll see until... So, we will see until he comes... What am I even saying? We will wait and see and when he comes back, basically. So at the antenatal classes, I couldn't film, obviously, because there's loads of other women and partners and whatever. I don't want to film that. Um, but it's... <laughs> it's a couple's one. So the male and female both go together. Or you can take your friend or sister or mum or anything but it's usually a couple thing so like me and Mark go together and someone and their partner and do you know what I mean um but there were one two three four five I think there were five other couples there um all over the age of 25 probably and obviously I'm 17 and Mark's now 19 so we are literally <laughs> the youngest people there we're the only ones that are due um we're due first out of all of them so we'll have our baby first probably if due date goes to plan um but yeah they're all like november december babies and we're october so there's not much but like between us all but there's they're all later than us basically um we i i feel like i need to talk about this because why i feel as though the nhs are rubbish for teen parents if i was 30 and having this baby i think they would be more caring towards us 
than if I was 17 like I am because there's been several occasions where the NHS or the hospital or doctors or midwives or some someone hasn't done their job properly in the fact of like hasn't given us proper dates times um hasn't given us the right people to talk to etc etc I know that we were meant to have a home visit we're meant to have one you're meant to have in the UK you're meant to have five visits one of the first one is um between 28 weeks pregnant and 34 weeks pregnant well i'm 34 weeks pregnant and i haven't had a home visit i haven't had anyone say anything about a home visit i haven't had anyone talk to me about one nothing so i asked um the lady at the antenatal class about it because she's the one that explained it and i was like well i haven't had that so i asked her and she said it's basically because the nhs clearly haven't uh, registered my pregnancy properly so they've told a few people like my midwife but they haven't told everyone that needs to know uh like the uh nurses and stuff that need to know basically um but at this first the first uh home visit you're supposed to get a red book and that red book basically has your baby's life in it um from the minute they're born till five i believe it is um, everything goes in there, like all their records, so ear tests, eye tests, blood tests, um, everything like that goes in this red book. You're supposed to get that at that 28 weeks to 34 week pregnancy um, home visit. And obviously I haven't had that and you can't give birth to your baby in the hospital without it technically. So like you kind of need that. Obviously if you didn't have it you'd still be able to give birth to your baby. But it'd be like paperwork would be a lot more difficult. Um, and if I go into labour tomorrow I don't have this book. So I don't know what I'd do basically. <laughs> but, but I feel as though because I am 17 and pregnant they don't care as much as if it, I was a 30 year old woman or a 25 year old woman or someone that's supposed to have children. I just find it really fascinating how they can treat you so differently. My friend who has just had a baby, um, she also did not get a home visit when she was supposed to be and it all got mushed up for her as well. And she's 19 so um, like I feel as though as I've watched her pregnancy go through, I've and her birth and stuff, I've realised that actually, yeah, it is the fact that we are young. Because at first I just thought, oh, maybe they're just doing it wrong with me because I'm, they're just doing it wrong with me because they want to or something, I don't know. But, um, or they're just making mistakes, etc. But then I realised that actually she's having the same issues. No, I'm having the same issues as her. So clearly there's something going on. And I genuinely do think... The NHS do not care as much for teenage pregnancies as they do for normal pregnancies. I could be wrong, I could be just chatting a load of poo and I don't even know what I'm on about. But that's how I feel and I feel as though they need to do something about it because it's not fair on us. Mark um, gets really annoyed at it because he... He feels as though if something goes wrong or something, they're not going to do their job properly. And we, as um, parents, are supposed to... Well, parents-to-be. Are supposed to um, feel comfortable with our NHS and feel comfortable with our midwives, nurses, doctors. Um, believe in them. Trust them. But we can't because at the minute they're not doing anything right. They're doing it all wrong. Um, don't get me wrong, they're all really nice people, it's just they don't do what they're supposed to do. And Mark, I feel as though Mark doesn't feel like he can trust them because they're clearly doing something that they shouldn't be. Basic. I don't even know if this is making sense. But basically how I feel is the NHS, doctors, nurses, midwives, etc, etc, do not care as much to do with information and details as they should so telling other people like registering me that I'm pregnant on documents they haven't done that but they should have and they should have done that 30 weeks ago when I first told them I was pregnant and they didn't so they've had 30 weeks to do it in and they still haven't done it bit odd 
but I don't know I just wish that it was a bit different and they did care as much but obviously I can't change that so just have to wait and be forceful so that they know what they're doing basically 